overall, the process was much faster than we had anticipated. Um, we were expecting to spend, you know, hours and days on the application when actually it just took us um, a few hours to fill out. Um, and it was a little bit ago, so I'm, the specifics are a little blurry, but I remember, you know, being walked through question by question um, and kind of breaking down our, um, our uh, like, innovation piece by piece, which made us understand like the deeper question and the, the actual value behind our innovation rather than just like the technical aspect of it. Um, so that your software like broke it down pretty easily um, to get to those deeper levels of understanding what the product actually served um, and did. Um, and uh, I, I would say that a few, like one, one, one thing that we did run into, and I believe we reached out to you about this was a few questions that seem relatively similar. So we struggled to distinguish the difference between the two questions. Um, and it's probably just because we hadn't thought about the, those details of our product, if that makes sense. Um, so we did reach out and we got some clarification from, I believe it was, I, I believe um, we just talked to you directly, Summer, or maybe Jamie. Um, and um, uh, yeah, so I would say that's like, that was the main issue that we ran into. But other than that, it was a relatively um, easy to walk through process um, that that was, that we were able to fill out as non-experts in this, you know, field of patent applications. I'm happy to hear that because in fact, you guys were some of the early beta testers of the software in many ways. Yeah. Um, and it helped us, helped us refine the questions, um, make them uh, more distinguishable from each other. What we've actually found is, um, you know, the questions have two components to them. There is kind of the economic or strategy part of protecting the invention relative to what else is out in the marketplace. And then there's mm -hmm. the technical aspect and the legal aspect of protecting it as well. And, you know, there is obviously overlap um, and, and being able to separate those questions out, I think is, um, you know, really where I think the secret sauce or the real value of the software is um, because we help you, you know, not just yeah. describe your invention, which I think other softwares may able to help you do, but help you think about it more strategically in a way that's protectable and enforceable and valuable relative, relative to what else is out there in the marketplace. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really glad you picked up on that. And actually, I was appreciative of the questions that you asked. Cool. We're able to, you know, improve and refine the software based on it. And very helpful to us as well. Yeah, it can seem like a black box sometimes, right? When you're just in the at, at the starting stages, but yeah, to catch everyone else up, um, you, you know, since the provisional, you have now filed a non-provisional application. Um, you know, your non-provisional has gone through the prosecution process. It's going to be allowed uh, very soon if it hasn't already been. Um, and and you kind of saw the value or the importance of these questions come up in a in in terms of getting the patent allowed down the road. So uh, it, it, it does come full circle at some point. And that's that's how we created the software is, you know, we saw all the questions or the issues that come up during the non-provisional prosecution phase. And we said, how can we create something and ask questions around addressing those questions from the get-go? So um, yeah, that's that's really good, um, that's good. Uh, yeah. kind of gloss on it. So yeah, thank you. The way that like you all approached you know, this, the, the design of the software and approached us as a startup made the biggest difference for me. Um, it's not just a startup that's out there on a platform that you can use, but you were, you were there to talk to us before, before the process, if we had any questions and that, um, in person or like, it was like a virtual <laughs> introduction. Um, I would say made the strongest impact in deciding um, whether to use the, the software or not. Um, it built a lot of trust uh, between yeah. like me as the, the customer and, and, the, and the user of, of the product. Yeah, and, and the company.
but yeah, I mean, and that really goes to the genesis of why we created the software. I mean, I get approached by students at universities all the time, you know, students who are going through the entrepreneurship programs or other kind of go to market type of situations. And, you know, a lot of these ideas that come across my desk are really, really good uh, and have a lot of transformative potential. But, you know, I remember being a student and I couldn't, couldn't have afforded my rates or my fees, right? When I was going through college. Yeah. Um, and, and I was like, there has to be a better, um, for these types of inventions. I mean, you yeah. could I could read books and try to write your own pen application, but I, I, in my experience, those were not so great. Um, so I was, you know, really it, it was designed for students like you, uh, to be able to come in and protect your invention. You guys are obviously smart enough to, you know, patent something, uh, you know, it's just a matter of having systems and processes around them and, and reducing the amount of time it takes around it too. So I am, I am happy with the outcomes that you guys have gotten and just been an absolute pleasure to work with. So I'm, I'm appreciative of that as well.